YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art. Here I am out in front of the Eugene Library with Rick Gold of uh, Eugene Peaceworks. His Barbie. Bobby. Clark Barbie. Okay. And Fastin Ricklin. And we're, this is our uh, protest to let people know that we need to take action. The very fifth anniversary of having a nuclear volcano, and as you can see, there are throngs of people very much interested in this. So here we are, and these are the signs that I made. I modified my sign that I made last weekend that I took to the Environmental Law Conference. See, I modified it here. And do we have any more brochures? Oh yeah, we have one more. And I made, here, maybe you can hold up the brochure. Yeah, I made this brochure. And it's kind of a three-page fold-out that we're handing out. It's the same thing I think you guys saw it from last year. A little bit different. Gives people basic information. And so we're handing those out. Maybe we're planting a seed. That's why this says, please care, because we want people to care. Care enough to call and demand solutions instead of allowing scientists to lie. And no, Dr. Catherine Higley, radiation from Fukushima is not the same as a banana. No. So this is Rick Gold. So Rick, do you want to say anything while we're talking? Do you want to have anything to say? It's the fifth anniversary of Fukushima and it's still happening. It's going to be happening forever. Well then, it's see, when we say it's going to happen forever, what that means to people is that, well then why pay attention to it? Well, because it can... Eventually, if they put the billions of dollars they're wasting on building new nuclear plants, on, you know, doing all things nuclear into figuring out how to transmute, you know, the nuclear materials, the nuclear waste that we're generating, then we can, you know, make this a more sustainable beautiful world right we need to figure out solutions to reverse the negative effects of radiation yeah do you have anything to say tell me your name again i beg your pardon uh, my name is clark barbie clark barbie i thought i heard it backwards but it is <laughs> i just like to say that i think that fukushima is the elephant in the room and people are very concerned about a lot of issues i know that but this is probably the most most important issue that we can address right now because it's ongoing We've got one core totally dispersed in the environment. We've got two cores that are melting down at this very moment. The China syndrome, they're not just That's melting right. down. And uh, the mainstream media wants to act like everything is just hunky-dory, and it's not. Right. And we all have children and people that we worry about. And I think it needs to be addressed. Sorry. And we need to quit ignoring it. Right. That's why we're here. Right. And here is Thaston Ricklin. Very dear friend, we've met Thassen, he's a Marshallese, and, and Matt Thassen, what do you have to say about today and about what's going on? Do you have anything to say? Well, it's been five years since the Fukushima disaster, and we're still sitting here trying to protest and inform the public on, you know, being safe and knowing their rights. and. You know, it's one thing that a lot of these people are giving their lives for this country and this country is poisoning them in return. And it's it's not just the United States, it's on an international level at this point. Yeah, so it is. It's not just us here on Mystery Corner, it's thousands upon thousands of activists.